WTFNN. Headline News Update. I'm Ron Basil Chapman here, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming straight up after this TFNN noon update. I'm also the author of the opening call daily newsletter. Dow's up 113 at 28,489. It did gap up sharply. <clears throat> it opened at 28,608.64. The high of the day so far is 28,608.64. That was the high. So we're going to be watching this closely because if it closes at the low, that's a certain kind of a candle. You see the candle right here? Well, this is the day of the uh, 2nd of December, where it closed at the bottom and then gapped down the following day. I also have a Chapman Wave indicator suggesting that there should be a negative open on the Dow on Monday. So trying to put this together, I think, on a very short-term basis, on a daily basis, I think we're close to some kind of a pullback. But we're still looking at higher highs to come because in the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking for at least a D in a buy mode. And we're certainly in a buy mode with the MACD strong and stochastic strong in the weekly at 92%. I'm sorry, in the daily and the weekly is even stronger. And that's in leg C in the Chapman Wave inside track. Repellent zone and the monthly chart is in leg D. All very positive. The S&P is also positive. So the Dow is now up 109. S&P is up 17. That's a little bit better of a candle. This is only in leg B, but the e mini futures are actually in leg C. I'm, I, I would suggest to you that we're going to uh, probably be looking at the rotation through these different indexes, and that says that it would take all of next week to get some kind of a D in the S&P. Uh, that's the fourth highest peak. In the QQQ, also leg B at 2178.92, all-time high. Pulled back a bit, little doji candle forming here, but with a gap up, this is really strong. Leg D in the weekly chart. Uh, key support will be at the 208. 50 area next week, and we're looking at the IWM. This is a Russell 2000 in leg C, up 44 cents at 166.17. Very strong. Weekly is good. Monthly is good, but it hasn't gone to an all-time high. It's the one legged. Even the New York Stock Exchange went there. Hey, gold. Gold is pulling back a little bit. It's down three at uh, 1481. Silver is also weak, but wow, look at the dollar. The dollar is up 28 cents at 97.68. Nice strong leg A. I wanted to see this because we've been along the dollar since April of 2018. We want to see that dollar break the 99s, get into the hundreds in the first month of the new year. We'll see if that happens. Basil Chapman, I'll be right back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Otherwise, have a wonderful weekend. See you on Monday.